Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to nest rows and columns. So you use columns, you use rows. I'm sure you've already done a bit of nesting, but I just want to take this video to fully explain what it is. So nesting, when you have a row inside of a column or a column inside a row, and you can go, you can go pretty crazy with it and, you know, create your own custom layouts. So here are some basic examples that are given on the Flutter website. So you generally always have a container and inside there you have a row. Then you can have another row then you know it doesn't have to be a row next week could be like a piece of text and then some icons you can go a bit more complex have container row then have multiple columns and then in there have some other items as well and then an even more complex example where they have a container row then each column then they have a column inside and they have an icon then a column and some text so the icon represents what's in the container now i want you to experiment with these different layers the one i'm just going to cover in this video is this one right here. So we need a container, which we already have. If we don't, just make sure you add one. Next was a row. So we need a child row. And inside here, we have children and we can add multiple children. So it has a row and text. So let's add row. And it also has a text item. So I'm going to just call this epic text. And then inside there, it just has a bunch of icons, so five icons. So let's add some icons. So icon, icons dot, let's say the star here. Oops, sorry, this is meant to be children. Yep, and in there we would have the icon, you know, the same way that we did it here. Icons dot star and let's just duplicate this other so off five instances of it so let's save that see what we get and there we go we have combined the column i mean the container the row and we've got it nested so this is nested inside of the container this row and this text is nested inside of this row and these icons are nested inside of this row so there you go, obviously if you combine it with, you know, positioning, with sizing, with different styles, themes, colors, all the different widgets that you want and all the different layout types, you know, like page view, grid view, and put stuff inside of there, you can really get the layout that you really desire for your application. But that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.